Hello everyone, it's me, Rachel Kilgore. Um, I'm coming to you from my house uh, with, via partnership with the ARC in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I wish I was there in person, but I'm actually really glad that we can figure out how to do this safely from a distance. Glad that you're here watching from your living rooms or whatever room it is in the house you are in. Erase the past and start anew In time you'll do just like you always do You keep walking down the same old path Expecting a different view But honey, no one's as predictable Predictable as you you go round and round you keep falling on the same hard ground I brush the dirt off of your knees a flash a smile so no one sees Like me, they learn to blame the siren song. You're so quick to profess your love, a moment's certainty. But honey, not everyone is as gullible as gullible as me. You go. Stick around to watch me bleed Cause I see deep bruises deep The happy couple strikes a perfect pose But everything that's new must turn I don't have my chat pulled up here, so um, hello everyone. Oh, lots of people. Um, 
I missed all of your comments in real time, but there they are. Um, thanks for joining. I thought I'd play a song I haven't played in a while. Sometimes it's good to bring them back from the vault. Um, I had a really great talk with my therapist right before this concert. So yay for therapy. Um, thinking about patterns, how we all have them, don't we? <laughs> Well, how's everyone holding up? This is lasting a lot longer than I thought it might at the start. This pandemic, I mean, not this concert. The concert's going average at length. Um, but uh, I think at the start of this, I really had, um, I just like had a, a good mindset about me, you know? Um, I, I guess maybe I expected it to be slightly shorter, um, but I also just, I came with this kind of certainty that, that, that I had it in me to respond to, to like, to grief and to trauma and to the unknown. And if I just like brought my best self and I checked in with, um, the important people in my life and I felt myself well and I got outside, um, and I wrote songs, you know, there's a way that one could potentially ace the pandemic. It turns out I'm not acing it, but, uh, but there is no acing it. And, um, I think we're all figuring that out now. Um, a few months in, um, I really wanted to share a brand new song with you guys tonight, but that's not a good way to go about being a songwriter, putting yourself, um, on a timetable like that. So what I am going to do just for the fun of it, because I haven't played it for anyone yet, is I'm going to play you the first two verses of an unfinished song. And that's going to somehow motivate me to complete it. All right? Hold me accountable. Disaster strikes and I am merely mortal once again. Nothing more, nothing less than a friend and a lover, aren't I? Some kind of mother, and I am not in control. I never was, but even so. where it's gonna go really but um something new which is exciting um i need to update your con this is so silly i need someone here to read comments for me but i don't have them so here we are do 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 there we go um yeah i don't know i think some people respond to this kind of quiet um uncertainty with like a lot of creativity and i've definitely found myself just stuck and kind of freaked out <laughs> um, and feeling a little bit like I've failed. Um, not just the pandemic, obviously. There's a lot going on in the world and um, there has been a lot going on. I think it's kind of just slid under the radar for a long time and now um, we're all just sitting at home realizing just how very screwed up everything is. Um, doing my best to show up for learning and unlearning in regards to uh, racism in our country, white supremacy, um, doing my best to really uh, engage locally and beyond uh, with my uh, representatives and thinking about what kind of country I wanna live in. Um, 
thinking about raising the minimum wage. You know, things like this. Maybe you're thinking of that too. One by one we fall in line To reach for the precious prize To the promised land singing yes we can Stomachs bigger than our eyes And it's yelled out loud, it's murmured low There's a chance for you and me to have all we dreamed and even more it seems that's the curse of liberty welcome to america the land of the rich and free where hard work gets rewarded and the money grows on trees well it's rags to riches bear Sticking to it, if you don't make it big, you can't claim the game was rigged. Cause in America, you manifest your own destiny. So stack the deck and deal a hand, and if your daddy's rich. Every card you hold will be turned to gold For a white man and his tricks And you'll stop to think as you comb your hair And straighten out your tie How the bottom few could be privileged to If they'd buckle down and try Welcome to America Riches, baby, that's our story, and we are sticking to it. If you don't make it big, you can't claim the game was rigged. Cause in America, you manifest your own destiny. Well, tunnel vision makes you strong. Narcissism is the way to get ahead Don't you ever stop to wonder About the ones you had to pay to make your bed well, 99 we fall behind Well, one fool takes the prize But we won't stay down forever See it twitching in our eyes revolution it's on its way there's nowhere to hide all the earnings that you've stolen all your greed and all your pride welcome to america the land of the filthy free where hard work Gets you nowhere And the money is diseased Well, it drags to riches, baby That's a tall tale But we are sticking to it Cause if you make it big And even if the game was rigged In America You manifest your own destiny in America, say the rest is history. As I was finishing that, I was thinking, I've been doing a lot of reading and, um, and watching of films, and if you haven't yet, I know this was circulating around a lot, but if you haven't, uh, I would very much recommend watching 13th um, 
I found it eye-opening. Uh, having been raised in a relatively active, uh, you know, uh, uh, active family that kind of, uh, we pride ourselves on just like knowing what's going on in the world. I mean, progressive leaning, I don't know what to call it. I don't want to just put labels on my family. But anyways, um, I, I still found that we, that was like, race was not covered um, so much um, in my childhood, especially not in school. Um, and what was covered in school was very much like a, a colorblind message that was popular at the moment. Um, but so much, so many gaps there. But the, the, the movie, the film 13th is a documentary and really uh, discusses, um, yeah, the prison, prison system and the effect that has had on our nation. And I felt like, you know, a lot was missed in, in my education in school. Um, but specifically that timeline of like posts, how did we get from the civil rights era to today and what are we missing in the story of how we got here? Yes, 13th, required, great. All of you, please go find 13th if you have not yet and make all of your friends watch it, thanks. Thank you very much. <sighs> well, something else that has, um, been brought to my attention thanks to this pandemic is that it's a lot of work living with another human. <laughs> um, I am lucky enough to uh, have a partner that I really trust and um, I feel very grateful to live with her and uh, you know sharing a life is an exciting thing and it's also very challenging. We both are musicians, we are both usually traveling a lot separately sometimes together but often separately so we have a lot of space built in uh, a lot of physical space and n not right now we don't <laughs> we're uh, together all the time at home and so um doing doing our work to carve out time for ourselves and uh be kind to one another 24 7 perhaps you are feeling that too Oh yes, please. Thanks, The Ark, for sharing the 13th. I'm not even going to describe it because you just, it would not do it justice. And I 
I could love you if you for joining guys I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that this might be the extent of my performances for the next year or so <laughs> um, it's a little weird I'm glad to see your words there yes please do keep saying hello and uh, share invite your friends you know they can join too if you'd like to share it um, and I'm glad to see your faces next to your names, and I know you're out there, and I know you're listening, but it, let's be honest, it's quite different than a live show, um, and I miss it. I miss um, looking into your eyes, I guess. That's a weird thing to say, but that, I don't make a lot of eye contact when I, uh, when I have conversations, but when I'm singing, and I'm singing my heart, and, and uh, everything feels very close um, to who I am as a person and sharing that with people and, and watching it kind of be received through other people's eyeballs. <laughs> um, it's a big, it's a really big thing. It's like, a, it feels very purposeful for me, but also like I, I'm giving something to you, but you're also giving something to me and kind of reflecting back that I am, you know, that you understand me, that I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, and I miss that. I do. It's hard um, when you have programmed yourself to be a performer, to kind of keep yourself afloat when you're not performing, because there's something, you kind of become reliant. Um, I don't know if any of you out there are performers. I know Crystal is on here for sure, but you, come, you, you start to become reliant on that feedback or on that connection that you have with other people um, to remind you that you're doing okay. And um, so this has been a really interesting opportunity to give that to myself. <laughs> There's a sharp looking man with a farmer's tan and my baby book. Shoulders back, healing against a broken world 
He had a head of curls like his baby girl and a devilish grin. He was a tender hearted trickster. And my father loved me When he could not love himself He put his faith in me But he was certain he would fail So when the world has been unkind And doubts weigh on my mind I try and love myself the way my You won't say it out loud, you're far too proud, but it's plain to see How his demons follow you, just like they follow me Between the three of us, there's a lot of him, we got the good and bad A steady hand and a habit of getting so sad but our father loved us when he could not love himself he put his faith in us when he was certain he would fail so when the world has been unkind and doubts weigh on your mind try and love yourself the way licorice and tobacco and spearmint gum when the worry's coming for you you better run 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 well, there's a ghost of a man at the back of every hall that I see He's a braggart, he claims his daughter could do anything I want to be just like him and nothing like him at the very same time And my father loved me when he could Himself, he put his faith in me But he was certain he would fail So when the world has been unkind And darkness weighs upon my mind I try, try And love myself the way my father loved me <sighs> If you're just tuning in um well, if you're on my page and you're just tuning in, um, you know who I am, but you don't know that I am playing to you uh, from my living room um, uh, on behalf of The Ark. Um, the Ark is a, let's face it, legendary folk venue located in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And um, they are hosting these lovely uh, family room series with lots of lovely artists, so you should keep an eye on their schedule and tune in. Um, they uh, were so kind to have me join tonight and I'm really happy to be here and I wanted to make a note I know they're uh, making comments in the chats here but if you are interested in uh, making a donation I, it's a donation both towards the artist and toward the venue um, which why not keep both alive venues and artists they work well together um, so if you'd like to you can find the link for that um, 
Well, right there, nicely done, guys, right there on the screen. Um, tip jar. Oh, I forgot the other one. So if you're tuning in on the ARC page, my name is Rachel Kilgore, and, um, and here I am playing to you from Duluth, Minnesota. That is where I am located, my hometown. Uh, I'm going to play you a song off my last uh, EP called Game Changer. Um, the EP call is called Game Changer. The song is not. Uh, but I wrote this song um, in the midst of my pre-pandemic life. Uh, and it kind of feels like I might have manifested this pandemic in a way um, through this song. And I mean that in the most positive way. Not the whole pandemic, just the standing still kind of part of it. Um, I'd been driving around a lot when I wrote this song and was just missing the time in my life when I had a home and um, a yard and neighbors and a community that I was really plugged into. Um, it is really wonderful to stop in communities and sing and, you know, be a part of someone else's community for a night. That's something magical that most people don't get to experience. Um, but yeah, it can be ungrounding too. So I, I wrote this just like daydreaming what it might be like to suddenly not be on tour, to have a home and a yard um, and all of the time in the world to bake and do yoga and all of the things. So basically here we are. I've been dreaming about a garden I want to be the kind of girl Who doesn't kill the garden I want to pay the bills And still not kill the garden I want to be successful in my love and my art. I want to finish what I start successful, not the status, the wealth, but my passion, my health. Successful. Heart of our nation's pride to never be satisfied. Why would you settle? Why would you crawl if you could have it all? I need a vacation from chasing my dreams. Don't we all need a vacation? I want to write a good song, have long talks with my mom with patience. Heart of a nation's pride to never be satisfied, bigger and better, and, and never enough. We want time with our families, but families who had screwed us up in the first place with dreams of our futures. A job and a marriage resolve at the new year why would you settle why would you crawl if you could have it all if you could have
Well, now I have the chance to do all those things. I know not everyone has a vacation. It's not like this is a vacation. It's actually very stressful for a vocation, a vacation. Um, but, but it's true. I, I can't do work as normal at this moment. And I'm not very good at doing work on the internet. I am so grateful to be part of, um, oh cute, Reed Simpson, thank you for the farmer emoji. Um, so grateful to be on the roster, on the Fleming Artists roster. Um, Jim Fleming has uh, run a booking agency for many years and he is, uh, he's got a good reputation for a reason. And um, I feel really happy to be part of his roster alongside many other artists. Um, and they've got a couple agents, not only Jim doing that. Um, but we've been having these really lovely weekly Zoom calls with the whole roster where we all, wouldn't you love to just be on the Zoom call? Um, uh, you know, we, we sit and talk about, you know, the future of the industry. What are we, what are we going to do in the meantime? How do you stream? What, uh, you know, oh, thank you, Crystal. Yes, see, Crystal is also on, um, uh, Ordinary Elephants is also on Fleming and we're having a blast. I just sit there quietly and watch everything mostly because it's so interesting and I don't know what to add, but there'll be, um, you know, we have whole sessions on like how to improve your live streaming. How's it working? Am I doing okay? Um, how to, uh, how to engage with your fans through the internet, um, how often to post, those kinds of things. Uh, and frankly, that part of it is overwhelming. We've got some artists out there who are like doing full-on cooking shows in order to stay engaged with you guys. And I'm not gonna, because I can't cook very well, one. Also, I just don't understand the internet. <laughs> um, and it feels kind of disconnected in a like, intensely connected way. So, um, that being said, I'm so happy to be here singing for you because this I can do. Um, so one thing I'm going to be doing, um, in the near future is, uh, now I'm going to do a, a rabbit in the road concert, which is, um, it was my album, my last full length album, Rabbit in the Road. Um, and it was an album of songs I wrote after I got divorced. And uh, I just got the really, the sweetest message from someone who uh, discovered it recently as they were going through a breakup. And um, it reminded me that I haven't played a lot of those songs. And it reminded me that it's important to sing them because while I'm not in that exact moment right now, plenty of people are. And, um, and those feelings of, of, of grief and like transition kind of stick with you for your life long. So that being said, I'm going to sing you Rabbit in the Road, the title track. You're scared of getting stuck. Scared to be alone. You're scared of your own history. Now you're scared of all my songs But there's a beating in your chest Just like the one in mine And I remember you smiling I remember all the time Oh, we'll stay i 
still grow Not side by side But on our own I cannot say I trust you And I don't want to be your friend But I think I see your goodness again Oh, sparkling eyes In a crowded room I still think of you In the springtime When your favorite flowers bloom When your favorite flowers bloom I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I've got a neighbor doing some work on the house outside. Hopefully it's not coming through. <laughs> Thanks for all the lovely comments, guys. You know, um, I played at the Ark one time as part of my duo, Sound and Echo, but I have yet to visit with my solo, uh, my solo work. So um, if you are interested in seeing me live, and you haven't yet, please do visit my website and sign up for my mailing list. Um, and then also, um, you know, just constantly pester the ARC and tell them they've got to get Rachel Kilgore in. <laughs> you know, like you do whenever you see your favorite artist. Hopefully that will be coming soon. I know people aren't really booking live shows, maybe even until fall of 2021. So it might be a while, but hopefully we're here right now and that will hold us until then all right i'm just gonna do a couple more here i saved all my like all the ones that feel really personal to me until the very end <laughs> this is how it goes welcome to a rachel kilgore concert <laughs> Uh, I came out to my mother when I was an 18 year old, I think, about 18. I was a senior in high school, 17, 18, I don't remember. Anyway, um, uh, and it felt really scary, not because my mom, I didn't think like it was gonna be like a political, like religious issue with my mother. Um, she was always very clear, while she raised us in the Catholic Church, she was very clear uh, to make sure we knew the difference uh, between, um, between, like, to make sure that we had a moral compass that wasn't defined by the, the, the literal interpretation of a text, but by this idea that one should love their neighbor. And that is it. She said, forget everything else. There's this one moment in the Bible, no matter what the Sunday school teacher says, there's this one time in the Bible where Jesus says, throw everything else out, love your neighbor, love your God, love your neighbor. And, um, and while I didn't stay with the Catholic Church, I don't continue to go to the Catholic Church or really practice any religion, uh, that idea it feels, it feels pretty good to me still. Um, I think it's an idea that is shared amongst many religions. And 
So I came out to my mom and I knew she wouldn't have a problem um, with that, that uh, general concept, but it did feel just intimate and scary to have to tell her this thing about myself. Um, but she did pretty well. She did, um, I like to say she had a pretty standard um, Minnesotan response, Minnesotan mom response. She just played it real cool uh, and said, okay, there, there, <laughs> that's, that's good. You're, you're okay, I love you. Um, and, uh, and at the time, I remember I just, I expected fireworks. I expected this, like, this life-changing moment and maybe we'd fight or maybe we'd just cry together or something intense was gonna happen. But my mom was just like cool as a cucumber. And I felt like I had like been robbed of some experience of coming out and, um, it took me a really long time until very recently to realize how blessed I was by that. And it took getting to know um, folks, other folks in the LGBTQ community who have intensely opposite uh, experiences with their parents to remind me to be grateful for my own. <laughs> one more song planned for you. It is a tune that I wrote about my dad um, a couple of years back when he was ill. Uh, my dad actually died a couple of years ago. He had um, some form of dementia and 
it was a rough go at the end. Um, it was kind of weird to see him uh, crippled by that when he had lived his life kind of like a lot of men of his era, proud of his physical strength and uh, his intelligence and, um, and the work that he could do as a contractor. So it was a weird time. And these days I'm, uh, I'm in the midst of uh, writing some more songs about him. I, I played one earlier, but hoping to put out a whole dad album with the help of the Minnesota State Arts Board. I actually was awarded a grant from them um, this spring. So that's pretty lovely. Um, look out for more dad songs on their way. Um, thank you again to the ARC for having me. This is such a treat, and I look forward to actually being on your stage sharing some of these songs and some new ones too. Maybe a whole pandemic album. I'm just kidding. Let's not pressure me. Um, there were a few people I wanted to say hello. Oh, lots of people. Well, so many people, I can't even name all of you. You're from all over. Uh, oh, and Ontario. Um, my dad's from, my, my dad was from Elmer, Ontario, or he most recently lived in Elmer, Ontario before he moved to my mom. He's from Springfield, Ontario. Yeah, so if you're in Hamilton, perhaps you know where that is. Um, anyway, dad album, look for that. Uh, keep an eye on my page. If you want to, uh, I didn't, I don't think I shared this link, but if you want to find my Facebook page, uh, it's just Rachel Kilgore Music. And, um, if you follow me on there, you will be notified next time I go live. I think I am going to do a, a, an entire Rabbit in the Road album concert pretty soon here. So keep an eye on that. Thank you to the ARC for having me. And um, all of you, take care. Be kind to yourselves. Um, and I hope to see you soon in person when it's safe to do so. My dad worked hard from the time he was young To win the respect of his father and the love of his mom And nobody had high hopes for the scrappy farm kid But nobody loved a challenge like my old man So with his hands and his sweat, with a hammer and a cigarette, long hours in the hot sun, he built a foundation, late for dinner every night, sunburn and an appetite, in the end he seemed to do all right, three kids and a fruit. My dad worked hard Did yours work harder? Is that what his thriving investments prove? Well, I'm not saying that he didn't earn the right to take it easy I'm just saying that I'm pretty sure my dad did too He got the job done right nah, You couldn't call him lazy And he wouldn't overcharge you Not like the big names did He built a house from the ground up Run the numbers in his head He'd make enough to feed the family Make it home to tuck me into bed And he never gave Till his body gave in and his mind grew thin And you never can tell how time will treat you She's a great deceiver Now he's home every night He's home every day 
needs help getting out of his chair and can't remember how to tie his shoes. I've been looking for the safety net, the one that's supposed to catch him when we can't afford the care he needs. And he worked his whole goddamn life. My dad worked hard. Did yours work? Carters that would a comfortable retirement proves. I'm not saying that he didn't earn the right to take it easy. I'm just saying that I'm pretty sure my dad did too. Thank you all again. Um, I hope you'll join me in trying to make uh, this nation and this world more just. Have a good night.